Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a searchable and dependent drop-down list in Microsoft Excel. So friends, we have used the Office 365 formulas to create this drop-down list. I'll show you here, we have the location and we have to select the employee name. So whatever location we will select accordingly, that employee list will be created here. So these are the employees for the US. If I will select here India, then it will show the list of India's employee. And as I select any employee, the data will be changed for that particular employee. If I will select here, let's say UK, then I'll get the list of UK's employee. If I will remove the location from here, then I will get the list of all employees here. This list is big. And if you want to search any employee, you can start typing the employee name. Let's say I'm typing here Chad and all the employees related to that word will appear and easily you can select that employee here. Let me show you once again. If I'll type here A, I'll get all the employee related to that particular word. Okay. And if you will select the location and then if you type any text here, then it will give the result from the related list. Okay. Now I'll show you the data. Here we have the data. In the data, we have the location, employee name, dates and the sales amount. Now using this data, we have to display this information. We'll create the drop down for the location. Then we will create the drop down for employees and friends this drop down is totally dynamic for example here we have four location and if we add any new location in our data in place of India let's say I'm putting here Australia okay so this is the new location now if I will come to the drop down list and here you can see the Australia is there and now if I will select the Australia I'll get only one employee because we have put the Australia here only if I put this here also then I'll get the two employee here you can see so it's totally dynamic and we haven't used any kind of VBA here I will explain you step by step how you can achieve this so let me go to the data and let me copy this data sheet and I will add a new workbook press ctrl n and paste this data here Okay, so this is data sheet and friends, I'm using the Office 365 subscriptions. We will use the few array functions here. So this is data sheet. Let me rename this as data. Now I'll add a support sheet here. I'll keep the name as support. All right. So on the first column, I'll get the unique list of locations. To get the unique list of location, we will use the unique function, unique and first we'll provide the array so we will select from row number two a two and we'll go to the end but we will take till the end because if you enter few more records it will automatically consider that data okay so this is our array till the end and just close the bracket and hit the enter so we have all unique list. You can see we have five locations here, but we have one zero also. This zero is just because of blank records. So what we will do rather than putting this data range directly, we will use the filter function here. So let me remove this and I'll use here filter. And in the filter, we'll provide the this same array, same range. In the include, we'll provide the same range or you can select it again from here and we will put the condition here. It should not be blank and just close the bracket at the end. So here you can see it is giving the proper list of countries. Now from here, let's say I'm removing the Australia and I'm putting the India in both records. Then I'll come to the support sheet here. You can see automatically it is considering the only four countries all right now to get the unique list of employees we will use the same function so let me use here unique then inside the unique we will use here filter and we'll come to this sheet and from row number two b2 till the end and now in the filter we will provide include condition so again i will select the same range b2 till the end 
and I'll provide this should not be blank. So is not equal to blank and just close the bracket for filter, close the bracket for unique and just hit the enter. So we have the unique list of all employees available in our data sheet. Add a seat here that will be your report seat and here let's take location and let's take here employee name. Okay. Now we will create a drop down for location. So I'll use the data validation to create the drop down. So you can select this cell, go to the data and then go to the data validation this one or simply you can select this cell press alt d l now come to the validation criteria and here select the list now in the source just come to the support sheet and select the first cell of the locations and here we will put the hash sign as we put the hash sign it will consider all the array list just click on ok let me show you Here you can see it is showing all the list. Let's make it slightly bigger or you can consider these two also. So just merge this. Now here we have the location. Okay. If we will add any new location in the data, let's say here I'm adding the Australia again. If I come to the support sheet here, you can see it is available. You can see in the drop down also. All right. Now let's merge this cell also for the employee name and in the employee name also we will use the same method select this cell press alt d l come to the list and here in the source press equal to come to the support sheet and we will click on c1 then press has we will consider the all the list so here you can see and friends automatically it will create the searchable drop down because it's a new feature of office 365 so let me show you if i will type starting z so it will give all the names related to that character or word or if i'll type let's say pace then it will give me that word automatically okay so this is searchable automatically now i'll show you if you select any employee here how you can show the data so here we will show the different dates and here we will show the sales amount so let's go to the view and remove the grid lines from here let's select this put some border then select these two and here you can select any color then select this one and let's take some lighter color like this do the same thing here Let's take this blue color. Okay. Now here we will put the formula. We will fetch the data only for this employee and we will fetch dates and the sales only. Okay. So let's put here formula filter. Let's come to the data sheet and here we will filter column C and D both column from C to D2 till the end. Okay. Comma include criteria we will put let's select this range employee name should be so put equal to and whatever employee name is selected in this cell in the data set here in the report this one okay and just hit the enter so here you can see we have the list of dates and the sales but this is vertical list we want it in the horizontal way like i have displayed here this method so what we can do we can use the transpose function before the filter so let's use the transpose and let's close the bracket and just hit the enter so here you can see we have in the horizontal manner now we will select this row and we change the format of the date so you can select the date format from here or you can simply press shift control and 3 okay so it is date format you can make slightly bigger now if you want to fill some background color you can simply select this range and some other range also and then press alt od to open the conditional formatting rule manager and add a new rule go to the format cell that contain here in place of cell value we will select 
no blanks form it and let's put this light blue color and if you want to put some border also you can go to the border and you can apply the outline okay apply okay so here you can see here we can apply the border check this one now you can see if i will select any other employee then if date is getting changed then you can see that is adjusting automatically because we have put the condition permitting okay now i will tell you how you can create this dependent drop down list because we are getting all the employees okay i want to get the employee only for relevant location so what we can do here we can simply put another logic let's select this formula and cut this press ctrl x and put if now come to the report sheet and i will select this cell wherein we have put the location if this cell is equal to blank then just paste that formula which you have cut if there is no location which means it is blank then we will show the all list otherwise we will show the list which we want so paste it again and we will make few changes we will not give this condition so in place of this let's come to the data sheet and we will select this range equal to come to the report sheet and we will give this range okay so it will filter according to this cell and now hit the enter all right so here you can see now it is a small list now let me come to the report sheet and i'll show you this is list of only india's employee if i will select Australia then it will show only one employee if I will select let's say Germany then it will show relevant employee all right so it is totally dynamic if you want to sort it in proper ascending or descending order you can do that also I will tell you you can simply use here sort function sort in the starting and in array you can put this put the sort index let's put here one because we have only one column then order let's take ascending order so put here one and just close the bracket it is in ascending order so now let's come to the report here you can see it is in ascending order if I remove this text from here then you will see all the list but it is in proper order all right you can see here so friends that is how you can create this searchable and the dependent drop down list using the filter sort and unique functions friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching